maybe show you guys how if I put some finger pressure there, it's uh, just the uh, the bar lock will. The, see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's turning this not tighter, but this is staying in the 12 o'clock clocked position. There we go. That's about as tight as I need it. Again, there's the, the bigger gap that has been created as I tighten it. And you'll also notice when you get it as tight as Ted wants you to, uh, these gaps are, are eliminated as they come in closer together because the barrel nut's squishing it all together. So now it's all tight. It's fairly tight. Um, again, this is loose. So this will be my last time playing with it because I don't want to, not sure how many uh, times we have to, uh, to do that, but I won't be doing it much more. But at any rate, so that's where it starts tightening, right there, right there. So let's, so once around and then a quarter. So I need to end right there. Again, once you come around one, you start to get pretty tight. And to a quarter, you have to lean into it. But again, the uh, the force at pulling the barrel this way against the threads is uh, is pretty incredible. So even if you, in my mind, uh, you'd have to ask Ted, I suppose. But uh, it's got more force on it than than some of the savages that I spin up with a. Uh, with a barrel nut. And so there we have it. <laughs>